move by how we use it, use it, use it. I don't care the night, she don't care. We like almost there, the right vibe. Ready to get live, ain't no surprise. Take me so high, jumping no dive, surfing the ground. Oh, said I gotta be the man, I'm the head of my band. Like that one, two. Shut them down in the club with a Playboy dust, and they all get loose, loose. Out the bottle, we all get fit, till they get tomorrow. Gotta break through, cause that's the motto. Club shut down, I'm just super motto. Hey, I heard you were a wild one. Hey, 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 yo, welcome back. This is the Be Smooth Radio Show Live Speaker. Man, we on the phone with the awesome softball phenom from Texas El Paso, <clears throat> Michaela Singleton. Right now on the phone, though, we got a mom. It starts from home. Ain't that right, mom? That's right. How are you, Brandon? I'm doing great, man. It's, it's, it's a blessing to have you all on here and... Man, I'm so proud of Michaela, you know, and her accomplishments. I'm totally. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate giving her this opportunity and extending her uh, this chance to be on your show. So we are grateful for that. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. No problem. No problem. It's an honor. It's totally an honor. And um, I just want to get into asking you, um, how great is it to be uh, Michaela's mother? It's pretty awesome to be your mom. You know, you see those T-shirts that say, you know, people get to meet their favorite softball player or baseball player. Right. But I got to raise mine. Right. That's, that's kind of how I feel. She right. is my all-time favorite softball player. In my mind, she is the greatest to ever play the game. I know that she still has to work hard. She still has to, you know, be determined to get to that next level. But I'm going to be there for her no matter what. She is the greatest to ever play in, in my mind. So I'm super proud to be her mom. It is a blessing that God bestowed upon me to choose for me to mother her. Right, right. Yeah, I, I totally agree. And, and that's, that's awesome that 
your uh, support system for her. You know, um, I know you go to a lot of her games and you're traveling everywhere and, and you're not just only a mother to her, you're a mother to two other um, siblings. So, you know, that, that is totally awesome. Like, I, I, I applaud you for that. Thank you. And I know that this is primarily about Michaela, but Jordan, you know, yeah. he plays baseball and Jordan's also a minister and he's right. going through the process of being ordained. I know Michaela talked about the four year old. He's probably the funniest <laughs> one of them all uh, because we have no idea what Brendan is going to do. Maybe right. following Big Sister, Big Brother, footsteps. I'm sure right. you guys will hear him in the background because he's, he's back here with us, but. It's just an, a joy to be yeah. the parent of, of these children. Yeah, and it's totally fine. I know he got to be heard, too, now. So, you know, it's all good. <laughs> we know how four-year-olds are. You know, I got a six-year-old myself, and he still run me nuts. But it's all good. Shout out to my son, Blake, and my oldest Absolutely. son, Brandon Jr. But, uh, Absolutely. yeah, so... Uh, let me ask you this. You know, I know it's so hot down there, man. You all sitting out there on that field and, and you're going to the games. Like, how do you survive that? We stay hydrated. Lots of water, lots of Gatorade. Yeah. You know, a lot of support uh, from other parents, from family, from friends. You know, you, that's how you survive it. And ultimately, you look at what the goal is. The goal is for me to help her get her to college. Her goal yeah. beyond that is to play at the collegiate level and then hopefully take it to the professional level. So sometimes you have to endure in order to get to the next level in life. Nothing in life is ever easy. You know, Dr. King said anything that's worth having is worth fighting for. Totally. So totally endure the I endure the rain. I endure the winds. I endure the losses. I endure the good games. I endure the bad games. But ultimately, as long as she achieves her goal, right. it was all worth it in the end. Exactly. And, and that is so great. You know, it's, it's so great uh, that you're a support system like that, man. You know, uh, that's something she's definitely going to appreciate in the long run. You know, my mom, you remind me of my mom, you know, yeah. coming to the basketball games, going all over the city, traveling and all that, you know, and just, just dedicating herself to be that support system. You know, and I think that is totally inspirational, you know, to to everybody, you know, being able to be there for your kids, you know, and not even just on the sports level, just being able to be an overall support system to to your children, you know, and we need a lot of that because it's a lot of honestly, there's a lot of parents in the world right now. They're lost and they don't even have interest in their kids. So it's a blessing. And Michaela, Jordan and Brendan, they're they're blessed to be able to have a mother like you. And I totally commend you. From all the way from Chicago to El Paso, like, to doing your thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> thank, you, thank you. You know, my support system comes from having a parent. My mother yes. was my rock. She was there yes. to support all of her children. My mother raised six children all by herself, yes. and it was not an easy task for her to do. But if mm -hmm. she didn't have to miss events, right. she didn't miss events. And because of those morals and those values that she instilled in me, Right. That's why here I am today. So I appreciate you commending me, but I really have to give it all to to her. And so for those of you who don't know who my mother is, shout out to my mom, yes. Rona Hall, because she is the reason that I'm the parent that I am today because of the right. parent she was to me and my sister. Right, right. And that is so awesome, man. That that Mom, I'm going to give you a shout out from Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> You did a great job, Mom. God bless you in every which way, man. Uh, let me ask you this. So, in regards to traveling, like, how many times do you, like, really travel throughout the course of the year, you know, to be with Michaela and Jordan, you know, through the baseball and softball season? Well, with American Freedom, she's been under the leadership of, of Mark Maddox for the last four years. This is the fourth year with him. And so they've traveled all over uh, the world. They've been to Arizona. They've been to Las Vegas, Nevada. They've been to Colorado. They've been to Indianapolis, Dallas, Houston, Lubbock, Midland. They just go so many places. So what I have to do is I have to take and choose which tournaments I am able to go to because I do have two other children other than Michaela. And for the ones that I'm not able to attend, she has a huge support system as far as her car 
coach, as far as the assistant coach, John right. Ziegler, um, who really takes her under their wing and watch after her and other parents, um, you know, Sam Brockman, they've taken her to places and really watched after her and looked at her, looked after her, Belinda and Richard Corona, they've just really taken the time out to say, hey, your mom can't be here, but we're going to treat you like you are our own. And when you have that type of support system, you're able to hand her off to those parents Mm -hmm. and know that she's in good hands. Totally, totally. And and that's great. You know, um, you can never get enough support. You know, I, I, I was telling Michaela that. And, you know, honestly, you know, honestly, I'm 36 years old. And I remember everybody that supported me back when I was a, a little midget. You know what I mean? I'm not a midget no more. I think everybody know that. But uh, <laughs> I, I've done a lot of growing being 6'6". Six, six, but you know, it's always good to have that support system. You know, kids, uh, don't, they don't forget that. You know, it, it follows them on to adulthood and, you know, more of our kids need that. You know, um, I find it that the more and more parents are involved in, uh, what their kids are in, meaning sports. I don't care if you're in a book club or whatever, you know, it makes it, you know, that much easier for the kid because they know that they can, if they go through ups and downs, they can always come to the parent, ask questions and things of that nature. So, you know, it, it always makes it easier on the child. But, yeah, totally. But at the same time, you just listen, if you just tune it in, I'm sorry, this is the Beast Move Radio Show, man. We're going to take a, a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to have Michaela on the phone to wrap things up. All right, y'all keep it right here locked in on Spreaker to the Be Smooth Radio Show. Now live on Spreaker. Back in Be Smooth. Right now. Right. This is the Be Smooth Radio. Just sit back and be smooth. Man, it's the dopest Chicago where you at. iHeart Radio. You're listening to the Be Smooth Radio. Now live on Show. And we got the hottest interviews and hot topics. The Be Smooth Radio Show. Right now. Now. Your radio. All right, all right. We back to the Be Smooth Radio Show, man. We got Phenom, softball Phenom, that is, Michaela Singleton, on the phone. And, you know, it's it's an honor to be able to have this kid on the phone. And she said, time flies. Yes, time flies. It waits on no one. Michaela. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I like that. Salute. <laughs> All right, man. So I just wanted to tell you how proud of you, you know, I am. And I, I just want you to continue to keep pushing. No matter how hard the storm may be, you hold on to God's unchanging hand and he's going to pull you through that. And I'm sure you know that, you know, you have a, a great support system with your mom. And, you know, I'm just I'm so proud of you. And I, I I really have to come from Chicago to El Paso to check you out. I told you coming to see you play is on my bucket list, so I definitely want to get down there as soon as I can. And okay. um, oh yeah, oh yeah, I mean, we're gonna try to get you some Nike gear out there too, man. All right. All right, I'm down with that. You down with that? So let me let me ask you this: um, all for all the kids that's listening in right now, do you do you um? Offer advice? Like, what advice would you offer to the kids? Everything, every situation that you go to is not the end of the world. Um, High school kids have a tendency to think that every trial and tribulation they go through is the end of the world and their life is just over. It's not the end of the world. It's just the storm you're going through. And if you keep pushing and you stay on track and you stay on your goal, you will get to where you desire to get to. And as long as you have the right people behind you, you'll be good. Totally, totally. There's, there's a great thing to have uh, support, but there's a better thing to have the good support, the support that you need to get to where you're going. Right, right. Okay, we just got knocked off. I don't know what happened. I really don't know what happened. That really just sucked. But it's cool. We was at the end of the show anyway. Um, I'm going to have to... They're going to have to edit it. But it's all good. I think we're back. 